Enchanté. I think all the electrics are done. You can start testing the water tank, filling that up and almost there. So I've been working in a trunk uh, for the last couple of hours and I forgot to film everything because I was so motivated and so scared because I had to make holes in this tank. I've never done that before and I only have one tank. So yeah, everything went according to plan. I have all the openings and all the plugs that I need for a safe system. We have the inlet here, we have the emergency outlet here and then ooh, let me show you. The overflow right here and this is where the water goes out to the filter and to the sink this filter will make sure that the whole tank all 70 liters is drinkable water which is awesome we always carry drinkable water because of this filter it has a carbon filter and a particle filter in there so that was quite exciting to do and this system actually is made so that I can put this overflow, this one, outside if necessary, if I fill it so that I know when it's full. And this emergency system is also in place if something would go wrong and the tank would start leaking, I can immediately uh, drain the whole tank in the back. We also got the doors in place for the electrics so everything is safe and sound. And now I'm currently working on the lotta bottom. Yeah, we do, do need to have some stability in here for putting the mattress there. This is really starting to look awesome. The whole paint job is done. Really cool, man. I'm liking what I see. It has been a hassle sometimes, but definitely worth the struggle. So we're attaching the bed frame to get some more stability so that the mattress doesn't sink into these holes and we opted for a very light construction which is uh, enough for what we have going on here and after that we can try if the mattress fits but I think so it's 140 by 2 meters these slats already fit quite good in here so the bed should be perfect hey this is where all the squats come in handy I'm kind of used to sitting in this position for a while now so that makes it a lot more comfortable Yay! <laughs> we have a lot of bottom a lot of bottom <laughs> A lot of flex! Let's It's a monkey with a nice ass. <laughs> I'm back here with Steven, our trusty electrician, who is uh, gonna fix our water tank because that was the only thing that we still needed to fixate the water tank and the nature's head. So I made sure that the cables were there, but we yeah, still need to connect them, and I didn't have the materials to do that. So Steven is gonna help us out on this last one. He's leaving on a holiday tomorrow, so we're very lucky that he's squeezing us in. Thanks, Steven. And uh, yeah, then we're about done. Then we can enter the van and we can go ahead and start cruising. Alrighty, so here we have our nature's head and there's a small ventilation system in the nature's head, which uh, yeah, requires a cable. So I now want to have that cable coming out there so that we can plug it in here. We have the plug socket available, so I just need to attach it and make sure that it's getting 12 volt current. And then we have a poo bucket. Our water tank is now fully set up and we have the electrical connection coming out here, going to the crane because we have a crane with a micro switch, which yeah, makes sure that the bump that is inside the tank goes on and off. We made all the attachments. The final one that I need to do is a USB port here. Still need to plug that one in, but I don't have the correct connection. So I'm going to get them at Delru and then I think all the electrics are done. We can start testing the water tank, filling that up and 
Almost there. <laughs>